yes guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the Spurs Talk Show. This is your Crystal Palace match day vlog. I hope you are all happy and healthy doing the things you love with those that you love doing them with. Today we've got Crystal Palace coming to town. Oh, for me, usually one of the least interesting of the London derbies, but still today I think it's such a pivotal game in our season. Eight wins, 24 points will get us, hopefully, enough points to qualify for the Champions League in fourth spot. Obviously there's the fifth spot that might happen depending on what happens in Europe. But we need a win today. We didn't quite get it against Wolves. Disappointing performance on the day. Disappointing result. Today we're looking for something far more appealing on the eye. But ultimately we need the three points, whatever happens. The team news is out. It's an interesting set of team news to go through with you. You've got Vicario in goal. We know Pedro Porro's out absent from the press conference. He's been replaced by Emerson Royale. It's as you were at the back with Romero and Mickey van der Ven. But on the left-hand side, we got the return of Destiny Udogi. Much needed. His absence was sorely missed against Wolves. In the midfield three, I think, I might be wrong in saying this, but I believe it's the first time we're going to see Benson Kaur and Basuma start together in Ange Ball's tenure. Pap Sarr drops to the bench through no fault of his own. He's been one of our best players this season, but Ange has decided to go with Basuma and Benson Kaur today, which will be interesting to see how that figures out. In front of them, you have James Madison. And Richarlison, on the back of a four-week, three to four-week absence with a knee injury, has been replaced in the nine by Hyung Min Sun. On the left, we've got Timo Werner. And on the right, Dejan Kulosevsky. So Brendan Johnson is also on the bench. We've got a strong bench today. Options if we need them. Let's hope we don't, guys. We're going to get into it. I hope you enjoy the show. Like, subscribe and comment. Come on, you Spurs. <laughs> Half time, it's nil nil Tottenham Palace. Um, and then, after I say an interesting first half, it hasn't been really um, a very, very boring first half of football. Not a lot to report. Timo Werner with the best chance of the half for Tottenham. The guy really needed that one. He had all the time in the world, chose to try to take it round the goalkeeper. I, for what it's worth, I actually thought, you know, he did as best he could and it turned out to be a really really great save uh, from the Palace goalkeeper one of those things that you just needed to go in for him for his confidence other than that Palace had a couple of chances uh, good save from Vicario I think that might have been offside but I can't remember yeah look Pal Palace are squeezing the life out of the game they got a fairly high line and they're trying to compress everything and Tottenham are kind of getting sucked into it a little bit tactically. I think they're not, we're not spreading our uh, players wide enough. We're not moving the ball fast enough when we have the ball. And it all see, it feels a little bit predictable, a little bit same same. I hope the second half is going to be better. I hope that you know, in in times in games gone by, we have managed to come out of the traps firing in the first 10 minutes of the second half. And I hope we're going to see one of those situations emerge now. Try and get the lead. If we get the lead, it should hopefully. Um, create a better environment for Tottenham to thrive but right now Palace are sort of tactically set up quite well I think and I think Tottenham like I say are, I'm not sure we're we're doing enough to, to warrant the lead we're not moving the ball around Madison's not really in the game not really pulling the triggers he got better as the half went on but Tottenham really haven't created very much Kulosevsky on the wide not fantastic Timo Werner outside of the chance that he created I feel like what he should be doing and what we could be doing given Palace's high line I think that Timo Werner and Kulosevsky but especially Werner with his pace should be dropping about six yards deep and then when, when someone like a Romero or a Van der Ven or whoever maybe a Basuma or a Benson or has the ball he should be turning and making the run deep because there's so much space in behind but we're not doing it 
I don't think that we're kind of, the peripheral vision of the team isn't quite there today. I'm not sure it's on Ange, I think it's more on the players not really reading the game in real time. And there's a lot more to come. We need to improve. Because this three points is a game we have to win. If we want to finish in the top four or five, we absolutely need to win these games. And last week wasn't good enough. This week so far hasn't been good enough. But look, I, I live in hope and I feel like um, there's so much more to come. I just hope that Ange and the coaching staff can remind them of the things that they should be seeing during the, the game, but they're not. How to take advantage of the space that is created by Palace squeezing and compressing the life out of the game. We'll see what happens in the second half. Let's get back to it. Come on, you Spurs. James Madison.
have another one. Tottenham 3, Crystal Palace 1. It looked on edge at times, guys. We said at half time we wanted to see a little bit more from the creativity. I was saying I wanted to see more from Sunny, more from Werner. I wanted to see Tottenham exploit the squeeze that Crystal Palace put on. I think we saw a lot more of it. It took until we went 1 0 down, though. I've got to be entirely honest. It was, we started this, I was expecting us to come out of the tracks in the second half with a little bit more. Um, like we have done in recent weeks, come out of the second half and go for it, try and get a 1 0. It didn't happen that way, it felt a little bit samey samey for the first sort of 10 minutes. Then we go 1 0 down, a wonderful free kick from Esme. But I'll well, be honest, question marks need to be asked about that wall. Felt a little bit too far to the side. Come on, you friends! Felt a little bit too far one side, not that I'm nitpicking, maybe I am. but great free kick from Eze, what a wonderful player he is. Although I thought he was pretty quiet on the day, I thought Crystal Palace weren't that great. I just didn't think that Tottenham, until until we went 1-0 down, were particularly uh, were correct going forward. I didn't think we, we'd figured out. We weren't paying attention. And this, this is not about Ange. For me, I thought the first 65 minutes, the players had enough evidence for us around. Everyone around me was seeing what was what was open to be seen if, if people were if the players were able to see it but they weren't really seeing it for some reason it wasn't clicking we go one nil down and then all of a sudden we click into Ange ball we get hold of the ball we come a lot higher and then it's just wave after wave of attack corner after corner after corner and eventually the pressure told some really clever substitutions from Ange I want to give Ange full credit here he takes off Benson Core, brings on Brennan Johnson puts Decky into the middle, almost goes with like a double 10 uh, with, with Madison and, and, uh, uh, and Kulosevsky and there's Brennan Johnson sit on the right, Timo on the left. And Brennan Johnson, he looked, I'll be honest, in the first few minutes, people were getting frustrated with him around us when he missed the ball, when he went out, for, went out of touch. A lot of the kind of murmurs and groans were happening. But ultimately, that press, that equaliser for Timo Werner, Brennan Johnson's press then was world class pressing he never let up he went for it and went for it and went for it and eventually he won the ball richly deserved whips in a perfect ball the one thing you will never be able to criticize brennan johnson for is his ability to hit a low ball into the right area and timo Werner needed it after timo Werner's mistake or well, is whatever whatever happened in the first half i'm not sure it was a mistake i think he tried his best it didn't quite work out but he needed that goal for Tottenham, he got it. He couldn't have been sit put on a plate for him more by Brennan Johnson. Brennan Johnson goes on to have the best, I reckon, the best 25 minutes that I've seen hit from him. Starts on the right for us, moves to the left when Timo gets taken off and Madison gets taken off. Wonderful second half of football. And Tottenham end up going 3-1 and it makes it look comfortable towards the end. Didn't need to go 1-0 down, but listen, this was, it wasn't Ange ball for 70 minutes, but the last 20 minutes, were ridiculously good, ridiculously good. It's what I've been waiting to see. I'm so happy, I'm so happy for Brendan Johnson. I'm so happy for Timo. If I have to throw a couple of names out there that I thought were also spectacular on the day, guys, Emerson Royale, oh, ridiculous. I thought he was brilliant today. Mick, Mickey Van der Ven again. Vicario doing his business. I'm not sure Vicario really. Don't know about the free kick. Not sure. I have to watch it back. Think about that one. But I think that was more of the wall plus a brilliant free kick than it was Vicario's fault. Romero with the goal. Outside of that, I didn't think he was spectacular, to be honest, but I thought his passing was a little bit awry at times in the first half and in the first part of the second half, but he's there when you need him to be. Gets that wonderful goal. Brennan Johnson slides Sonny through. I think it was Brennan Johnson for a double assist. And Brennan Johnson gets the gets the uh, the winner. Oh, sorry, uh, I put it in Sonny, who gets the winner. 3-1, perfect finish for Sonny. Perfect way to finish the day. A difficult first 65 or frustrating first 65 minutes, but Tottenham do it in the end. And we needed these three points, guys. Top four, top five, whatever it is, is bang on. I haven't seen the other results yet, but I'm a happy, happy boy. Like, subscribe and comment, and as always, bye-bye.